Okay, jammers, who remembers this delivery opening? Yeah, time to get these done. As well, I was sneaky, and I know you've seen on the thumbnail picture, so you know what it is. Who remembers this delivery package from so long ago that I wanted to complete? To have a dollhouse within a dollhouse, and we're going to put it in the cottage. And this is one, one forty-fourth Monster High and Barbie is one sixth and American Girl I think is one fourth. So just to show you how small that is. So that fits in my hand. And it's not gonna be as fancy as many people who do this scale, but it's gonna be nice and stand out. I'm just debating at this point on Monster High colors or more normal normie colors. So here's what I snuck in that I took out of that box when I opened it. This is all the furniture. And um, it's gonna go in there, some of it, I hope. And I'll open these all up so you can see what I'm talking about. Tans Craft is on eBay, and these are really affordable. They range in price. They eat the little packets for anywhere from $1.50 to $3.50, I think. So this is turning out to be like a $20 little project. But it's going to be entertaining, and it's going to be cool. And I'll say one thing. I'm hoping this will fit in. So we'll have a dollhouse within a dollhouse within a dollhouse. So let's see how this works. Let me open these up for you. So this here, this is a Kelly piece, Kelly dollhouse from Barbie, and uh, that worked. Now, here's all the pieces and the groups of what they came out in the packaging. I want to give a big shout out to Tanscraft, and check them out, just punch in their, they got thousands of entries, just punch in their search bar, metal miniatures, and they have so many, there's even different versions of each bedroom and everything like that. If you do it, or other stuff for one six, some of the stuff works too, I've used them a lot. But my little packet came with two sinks and I called and immediately she sent me another toilet or a toilet. So I got the full set. Excellent, excellent service. Okay, next we have a little sewing machine, a mold, body mold chair. That's a set. Here's the bedroom set. That's a little light. I should use a pencil here. That's an overhead mirror for over the something, a dresser. A chair, night stool. This I got separate, I'll explain. Here's my hopefully dollhouse within a dollhouse. Kitchen, there's a couple choices for that. I, I think this will fit best. I'm hoping this will all fit in here. Here's the living room. That's a little um, night light, side light. My museum wax is gonna come in very handy for this. Check out our video for how to use it if you're interested. It is amazing for dollhouse stuff. This is the dining room. This is a roll top desk a fireplace the only thing they have that was somewhat that can be like a person in their dollhouse is like in 112 don't tend to have a doll so i thought that would that'll work some little brooms some stand-up lights and a tv so that's hopefully all gonna fit in here if not oh well i'll try so the chairs i'm gonna swip swap and i'm gonna put one for that that's why i bought the set and then the dining room only came with one captain's chair and two little chairs and usually you have four so over here i'm gonna switch this one came with that so i'm gonna have that over here so we'll have three regular and one captain's chair and there might be some other swip and swap and yeah i think that mirror i'm gonna put over the fireplace if it fits and um that might be it for changes i don't know if that's gonna fit but it's worth a try Okay, well, first things first. Prime. Spray primer. Best stuff. And that's usually what I do. So the paint, we go through all this effort, the paint will stick. And I'm going to do that too. So let me get that priming. Here's a quick review of all the other ones I'm doing at the same time from that Metals um, Miniatures delivery package opening. You can check that out to see these one by one if you're interested. And here's my finger, so you can see the sizing for these. So I got these in here, and I'm gonna set them all up. So after my primer, in my cart, lots of paint. That's basically the gist of this here project. All right, let me get them set up for spray. Primer, yeah. I took a little time to put them on my cardboard. Boy, that stuff comes in handy recycling. The paint on the back by reusing them is great because it gives you a little grit so they don't go 
sliding all over the place. And I got them all set in place, my usual. Make sure you put the bottom and what's not showing up first when you spray. So for example, oh, I don't know. So this one will be sprayed on the bottom and the back. And then when I turn it over on the second spray, the good side stays good and we don't get any of those little ticks on it. And um, I've kept the little things. These got pretty much weight, so I don't have to tape them down. But the ones that might blow away with the spray paint, I've put in the front. And um, at least if they go flying, they'll stay on here and not fall on the dusty garage floor. And they're all ready for the first coat. And um, ooh, I am so glad to get this project off my plate. Have I said that? <laughs> So I've become, begun to spray and um, I got it safely in the garage. For those of you who follow on Instagram and seen our story about the fan, see I was spraying the fan blades over there and he ran them over. So we have it safely over here so it doesn't get run over. Nothing special about spray paint. Um, stay at least 12 inches away, maybe even a little farther with these. This stuff's thick, doesn't drip as much as regular spray paint. but. Uh, to go like that doesn't need a whole lot because these aren't going to be handled like crazy just to break the metal give the acrylic paint oh nice those didn't fly away give the acrylic paint something to bond to that's how i do real chairs on my wicker see me good tip so i'll just go around every little way i can get this way Wait for that to dry, and uh, we'll do the second coat. And that right there actually sums it up for this spray painting session. Um, yeah, oh. Okay, takes only an hour to dry. Gotta love that stuff. Everything has dried from the primer, and now I've begun painting. Some simple tips, tips, spectacles, must have, coffee to keep me all nice and bug-eyed so I can see these things. Um, mostly I just uh, paint what's predominant in color and then go back later and paint the details. Many different ways here I've been doing this. So these I just spray painted because they're mostly gold. So these three here, oh yeah, shout out to Sprinkle Bunny. Thank you for being first in one of our previous videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love her crafts, by the way. You should see her ever after high beds. Gorgeous. So these ones are done. Rosabella, Blondie, done. These ones, of course, I'll add some faces to. Um, usually I try to go with the dominant color that's lighter. And in some cases I can't, such as this, because it'll be too hard to get in all those creaks and crevices there on the bottom. So I've had to start with the brown and I'll add the, the white sails later. Um, some stuff I'm going to dry brush, such as these I've begun to dry brush. And again, here's the white showing first. So then now all I have to do is paint the tails and the little eyes and whatnot. The little knights, I'm going to dry brush those more dry brush depending on layers I haven't decided <clears throat> when you have such a dark color you know and especially next to a white this is for gingerbread or ginger bread house um, I've been a little more careful about where I go because I know the white is going to be very hard to cover the dark brown and uh, here's a little furniture is going on same idea I got them going with a wood color and um, you know things like this I'll just get the color up and then maybe I'll use a little stickles since it dries flat compared to puppy paint and put that in the mirror mirrors to make that happen and um, a little dollhouse is gonna work out dollhouse within a dollhouse within a dollhouse and like this I got mostly green but I'll come out after with a really fine brush and paint the wood details so if that helps you any I hope this bed we got the wood and then I'll do the bedding that's the way I find easiest to do things like this and definitely find it easier to do it all at once just put a whole bunch of paint in front of me next to me have my brushes have my water and just uh, 
get busy. When you're using a really fine brush such as this, see how tiny that is? You want to wipe a lot. I might wipe like every uh, five dips even, three sometimes, to keep my brush nice. And then a little tidbit is if you're letting it dry, put a little spit on your fingers or put it right in your mouth and swoop it out like that. And then it'll dry with a nice clean point. Well, I have lots of work to do. Let me, oh, inside the house. That's where I'm at on that. Very colorful. Love it so far. Let's hope this all works out. Oh, what a mess that was. Boy, did I ever scream. And uh, here I am beginning to do the second coat, having already done that first most predominant color. And then you can see where I start to put in my second, third or fourth colors in some cases. And um, I think it gives you the idea of how I do them. And then they're a whole lot less intimidating. They don't seem so scary really. Although a magnifying glass maybe might have helped. So sometimes I'll use a little Sharpie as I did with this red one on the little dollhouse window and door trims. And um, that'll just detail it out. I can't paint that small, it's just not me. Same thing, do it on the house. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, start it off with my walls and then though my outer walls layer and I'm just gonna continue to layer. So you're not matching one paint line up to a second paint line. I think a lot of people think that. And that's not the case and this is the same way I used to paint real houses so it's just much easier when I'm doing such a smaller thing and uh, at this point I'm so excited because it's been a while since I've had this dollhouse and I finally get to do it and finish it and here uh, yeah I show with my brush how uh, I do that so you don't have to be so perfect on your first coat Sorry for the overdub, but the fam was watching TV while I was doing this, as is the usual in this house. There's no doubt the devil is in the details when it comes to doing a dollhouse. Got some nice accessories from Monster High and Ever After High, and I am sitting here with a really sore back, <laughs> but a very pleased Mama Jammer. Um, here's how they all look. Some are still a little bit wet. When it came to the clocks and maybe certain things I wanted shiny, like the little dollhouse, I used nail polish, both shiny and they have a matte if you need that. And in the mirrors, I also use that to give it a little more. Um, this is a very relaxing job for me, so I enjoyed it. Um, I think you can see where some of these are going. This turned out beautifully. Looks kind of like the Disney castle. So some more look like figurines. Some look like wood. That will all be for um, cedar. So it look like she carved those out. And then the little cuckoo clock. Some things were simple to do. Like that one came through really, really easy. Um, probably didn't need that, but oh well. Kind of love putting that in Michelle's room. Lots of bunnies for guess who? This, I forgot to tell you that when you use Sharpie and then put nail polish on it, it does run. Luckily, this is so tiny, it just doesn't matter. That's me. That's Mama Jamma right there. <laughs> and uh, here's the rest of the pieces. I will put these all into the dollhouse. I have a feeling I'm going to have to glue some of these and the museum wax is not going to work because they're just too small. I'm not looking forward to that, but I'm looking forward to the results. There you have it, everybody. Oh, the house. The house. Again, I almost forgot the house. Lots of detail intricate in there. Enough just to make it look like someone cared. Oh, I gotta fix up that one wall right there. Oh no, the bathtub will be in front of it. It'll be fine. I'm not gonna show the door on this side. Instead, I made a picture on the wall. Very happy with it. I'll put it together. I hope you've enjoyed this video journal and got some tips that might help you in your painting ventures. Have a wonderful evening. See you next time.